Recently, after a Christian evangelist was stabbed in the face in the name of Allah, I made a video claiming that we shouldn't respond to violence with violence, but that we should respond to violence with art. So, I took some pages from a book that calls for violence against Christians and turned it into a beautiful origami castle. I did what I do best. I turned evil into beauty. Naturally, my peaceful response was met with threats of violence. But do I threaten violence in return? Never. Do I even complain about the threats of violence? Not at all. In addition to threats of violence, keyboard jihadis have mobilized their armies to complain to YouTube. The word armies is not mine, it's theirs, although they rarely spell it correctly. For instance, one keyboard jihadi posted this on Twitter. My Muslim armies, please report until this video on YouTube being takedown for being disrespectful towards our Al-Quran by making an origami with the Quran pages. It's perfectly understandable for someone to complain about beautiful art that they don't have the aesthetic sense to fully appreciate. I just wish they'd complain when a Christian woman gets stabbed in the face in the name of Allah. What isn't understandable is the response from Team YouTube. Team YouTube read this complaint and replied, We're passing this along and handling all the next steps from here. Please continue reporting content that may violate our policies. So, Team YouTube jumped into action when they saw this complaint. What was the complaint? That I was being disrespectful towards the Quran. Now, where in the YouTube community guidelines am I required to respect the Quran? In Surah 98, verse 6 of the Quran, Allah declares, Verily, those who disbelieve in the religion of Islam, the Quran, and Prophet Muhammad, from among the people of the Scripture, Jews and Christians, and al-Mushrikun, Mushrikun are people who associate partners with Allah, will abide in the fire of hell. They are the worst of creatures. So, according to the Quran, Jews and Christians are the worst of creatures. We're lower than dogs, we're lower than pigs, we're worse than insects. Are Jews and Christians required by Team YouTube to respect a book that calls us and our families and our friends the worst of creatures? Does Team YouTube demand respect for all religious books or only for the Quran? For instance, if I go to YouTube, will I find videos of people burning the Bible? Are people free to burn the Bible on YouTube? Does YouTube demand respect for the Bible? Or does YouTube allow people to do whatever they want with the Bibles they own? YouTube doesn't care what you do with a Bible. But the moment Team YouTube finds out that someone doesn't respect the Quran, they spring into action. Notice, Team YouTube could have responded to complaints by saying, We understand that this video may be upsetting to you, but it doesn't violate our policies. We try to stay out of these disputes, and it wouldn't be fair if we favored your religion over others. So, if you don't like the video, don't watch it. Instead, they say, Oh, someone disrespected the Quran? We're on it! Even more disturbing is that YouTube has no problem with popular Muslim speakers literally calling for the public executions of ex-Muslims. This is a part of our religion. There's a reason to it. Yeah, there's a reason why there's a capital punishment. Because people like you, little weaklings, who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt. And we're proud of that. Yeah? Capital punish will be applied in an Islamic state, yeah? Under an emir, it is done, yes. And we, you know what, we'll be watching. Now, I don't want Ali Dawa banned for saying that. I want his views about killing apostates and marrying children to be public knowledge. But some people did complain to Team YouTube about Ali Dawa's calls for mass murder, and Team YouTube defended him. Team YouTube said, oh, this is just spirited debate. We're not going to block this. 
But somehow, if you don't show the proper respect towards the book that calls for violence against you, suddenly Team YouTube decides to get involved. So once again, there are the written community guidelines and there are the unwritten community guidelines. The written community guidelines don't say anything about respecting someone's book, but they do say that you're not allowed to call for violence against other people. Of course, Team YouTube will gladly give you a free pass for violating the written community guidelines as long as you're a member of their favorite religion. According to the unwritten community guidelines, we all have to respect a book that calls us the worst of creatures. We all have to respect a book that says, fight those who do not believe in Allah. We all have to respect a book that says, do not take the Jews and the Christians as friends, they are friends of each other. We all have to respect a book that commands men to beat their wives into submission and tells them that it's okay to rape their female captives. We have to respect it, or the speech police are coming for us. I hate to be the cherub of obviousness once again, but if YouTube not only deliberately blocks criticism of anti-Semitism and anti-Christian violence, but also demands that we respect anti-Semitism and anti-Christian violence, they're really promoting anti-Semitism and anti-Christian violence, aren't they? This is a power of religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah?